The main, the main complaint is blood in the urine, uh, either at the stream, at the end of the stream or at the beginning. Uh. Yeah. Then uh, for how many days? About uh, four or five days. Is it the first time? First time, yes. Well, what other complaints? Itchiness? Because there uh, seems to be some bandage. Yes, yes, itchiness, so I bandage her up, but uh, the itchiness just uh, happens suddenly. Maybe today? Uh, yes, today. Maybe. Which part is itchy? You remove the bandage, you can see it. Right okay, I'll remove it. Huh? How you know the dog is itchy? Uh? Because she she scratched, so it's itchy. Which part she scratches? The underneath. The no part. Okay, pull the dog. Okay, let's see. Come turn turn the dog up. Below is it mental? Uh? Okay. We hold there. Yeah. Okay, turn. Okay, that might extend also. Okay. Which part is itchy now? Yes. Yeah, hang on. Uh, okay, at first uh, it was very red, but I applied tea tree, uh, tea tree ointment. It's because tea tree ointment seems to work very well on her. So this part is it? Yeah. Armpit. Uh? Last time when she had this itchiness on top, tea tree also worked on her. Okay, so armpit. Uh, right? mm. And then this one. Uh, mm. Here, here, here. Mm. No, the itchiness starts from where to where? Is it just the only, only part? Only the armpit you need. Only the, the armpit, left armpit. Yeah. Uh? Yeah, left. left armpit. Today you need. Uh? But now it, it looks like it has subsided so much. Okay, so okay, come from down today. Now that one is uh, sometimes it's due to some contact. Oh, oh, could it because my daughter just bought a some kind of attire for her to wear for Chinese New Year? Could be some Indian contact of you, you hope person. Now check the ears. Part of it could be due to ears. So you hold the you hold the mouth or something. Yeah, hold the mouth or something. Yeah. So I check the ears. Normally, if I put this cotton bud in. And if there's no 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 reaction on the back leg, that means it's not so bad. But the dog has has reaction on okay, this side, but not so bad. Reaction, reaction. means that there's what pain. Uh, there's some pain. Uh, the back leg side. Now normally they see the leg should be. Yeah. O overall it's okay. Uh, there's a bit of pain, but it's very clean. Uh. Yeah. So I would say the ears are normal. Uh. Ears clean uh, times two. Uh. So now the main problem is, is the yeah. blood in the urine because that is more important. You see? Now blood in the urine because this dog is not sterilized, so is she on heat or not? When was the last heat? Uh, uh, last heat period. We don't. I don't know. Huh? Sometimes you see the swelling, uh, and this part is it normally swollen or is it this size? Do you know? Because she's having menstruation, you swear a big mess. Yeah. So is this normal? This or? the thing is normal. To me, it looks a bit swollen. Maybe she's having a menstruation. Do you know when the last hit? Uh, the last bleeding. Uh, which month was it? Or how many months ago? We, she, because she, she's very clean, as we, she doesn't stay there. And okay, uh, this, this one shows that the dog has inner sac infection. Huh? That's why she keeps on licking this, this blue, blue part of okay. Do you press a glands or? Did anybody press a glands? You press a gland? No, the last time. Maybe. You press a Oh my God, right? You press the gland. Huh? It's very smelly, I remember. Last time? Uh? Yeah. Now no more, right? Because yeah. I noticed it's not so swollen. Uh. It's the last time you press the gland. Mm. Now it's okay. It seems, seems to be okay because otherwise oil will come out. Huh? Okay, so now this blood in the urine, it only happens in the urine only, right? I mean, if there's no urination, will there be blood? No. So most likely, it's not due to the heat period uh, because heat period the blood will come whether there's urine or not. No? So now I look at the history. Now the history in August 2013, uh, the history of the urine test. Now the urine test shows that uh, there's a little bit of blood at that time, uh, but there's infection. And then uh, the pH is 9.0. So this shows that the urine is alkaline and the involvement of the crystal is triple phosphate. Triple phosphate is uh, is those uh, crystals in the bladder. So there's presence of this uh, yeah. crystals? Yeah. Crystals, yeah. So, so it's most likely this dog has uh, bladder stones or sometimes bladder and kidney stones. So I will check the, the bladder at my palpation. So normally I will just use my, use my uh, fingers and uh, feel for any stones. Uh, and you'll see the reaction of the dog if there's pain or not. 
It doesn't seem to have any pain. Pain, pain? No. No. So it's good news. The bladder is not full or, or swollen. But I do feel the bladder is quite a thick, thick wall. Which means this uh, That it has been inflamed for some time. Now whether there are stones or not, some, sometimes the stone is so small. So uh, it's not easy to feel to, to feel, feel it. This but there seems to be small stones. This kind of stone is uh, common in Schnauzer. Yeah, Schnauzer uh, are famous for why, why is the, so the breed, uh, this breed. Uh. But why is it so long? Normally due to dry food. Uh, so I can feel the bladder is quite thick. It's about the size of a, of a fish ball that is and the bladder is thick. Uh, whether there are small stones inside or that will depend on the x-rays. Huh? So, so in August, I did advise uh, to, to take the diet SD to dissolve the, the triple phosphate crystals. Huh? So take for one month to three months. And after that, uh, when it's dissolved, you, you take a urine test again. And if it's shown in the negative crystals, then uh, from then on, the dog will need to take canned food or no more dry food. Yeah. Because the dry food, they, uh, they tends to form uh, uh, crystals and stones. Yeah. Any other uh, solid food that will not cause this? Maybe other brands? Yeah, there are some brands uh, which alkalines the, which acidify the urine because the urine 9.0 is very alkaline. Alkaline and then the bacteria, the, the bacteria is present also, you see in August, uh, 3 plus. So the bacteria and the alkaline urine uh, causes uh, this, uh, we call the strobite stones to form, you see, or crystals, and uh, they irritate the bladder wall. So that's why you see some blood, because there are not so many. So that's why you only see now and then. And if the dog drinks a lot of water, there, there isn't any. You see, but in this case, there is no need to do operation. Uh, of course, an X-ray is, is best. It's recommended to this, but sometimes you will show nothing because the crystals are. Not many are uh, small. So, uh, since a urine test shows triple phosphate, occasionally means not many. Uh, so, uh, and the sign and symptoms of blood in the urine recently. So, there are uh, there are some uh, uh, infection of the urinary tract. So, the the bed is antibiotics plus the the feeding of the SD diet to dissolve the crystals. Normally it takes one to three months, and so it doesn't mean that two weeks it will dissolve. Then uh, the best is to check for, you do a urine test every, let's say, uh, monthly. Then, uh, so let's say there are three tests negative, which means it's, it's clear, clear. Uh, clear. And then, uh, a lot of water doesn't help. Uh, it so does, it does help to flush out the, the crystal. Because the good thing about her is that she can be encouraged to drink water she will drink. How about dry food? Is she still eating? What, what dry food is she eating? Uh, <laughs> still eating dry food, right? Yeah. Huh? Appetite good, right? A good appetite, yes. Urine? Urine also good. No, the, the drinking good, right? Good. Drinks oh, a lot, not drink normally. Good. Yeah, drinks a lot? She drinks a lot, and as and when we want her to drink, we just ask her to drink, she can finish the whole container of water. Mm. Urine a lot? Urine a lot, also. Because she drinks a lot of water. Uh, stools normal. Normal. The temperature is normal, so overall the dog is active, right? Yes, it's Yeah, so a bit slim, okay. Yeah. So the other thing... Well, the slim is because of the you, uh, the blood, then I was overseas. So I told the maid not to give too much dog food. I'm sorry, food first, give a, a lot of water first, until I come back. Mm -hmm. So uh, the, the management of this case is uh, using the diet to dissolve the crystals. Of course, and then check the urine every month. This one is you think it's allergy, is it the itchiness? Yeah, yeah, slight allergy. Now recover, now yeah. recover. Not, not so bad. So, so the ears are also okay because if, if there's ear infection, the dog will do this, is it? Oh, oh she did that. When? Uh, that's, that's why she scratched her body. Yeah, the some they do, yeah. There is yeah. normally there's pain inside the ear or okay. some pain. But so now they, they have the relief. The ear is okay. Yeah, they will relieve the pain. The reflex, huh? the reflex huh? so uh, 
what do you, what do you put inside the ear? Sometimes you put all those. I we bathe the cream, yes, the ear drop, and then also the powder that you asked me to buy. I asked you to buy powder. What uh, would I ask? All your powder, your son, uh, Daniel, what? Daniel, Daniel. Ask you to buy what? I think she dispensed from here. Powder. Powder or oil? Not powder. Is it oil? Ear drop. Ear uh. drop is good. Ear drop powder. We don't recommend powder for the ear because it blocks the the whole ear. See, this this is normally done by who the groomer, right? Mm. They pluck the hair, right? This one done by the groomer. No, they pluck the ear hair. They put some powder in, right? Mm, I think so. Huh? So they put powder in. They all get stuck inside the horizontal canal. Oh, okay. So not. And so the dog feel very uncomfortable. So you keep on trying to scratch it there. Okay. Oh, so. The best is uh, not to use powder for the ears. The, huh? the cleaning of the teeth. The teeth uh, is bad shape. Uh, it, it, it was clean and how come it come back again? Uh? Mm, in fact, it's quite loose. It's, the, gums, the, the gums are exposed and look. Some dogs have very poor we, teeth. We uh. did the cleaner scaling yeah. uh, this year, but it came back again. Yeah, some dogs, they eat bad food, is it? No, dry food. They eat bad food, right? Uh, dry food, plus, uh, this uh, dog, dog No, because his teeth already uh, the, the, the gums are exposed already. The scaling was done. Uh, the gums are exposed already. Then you see the gums all. You can see the the, the roots already. Uh. Then the roots can be seen. Uh. Also, it's got very bad teeth. Uh, this dog. Uh, some dogs are born with uh, bad teeth. Uh. Bad structure. Uh, structure. So okay. So uh, so the conclusion is uh. Dissolve the stripe stones, huh? squeeze those, huh? and during test uh, every uh, Monday for three months, and then if negative for three months, that means uh, it's, it's likely to be cleared. Of course, the X-ray uh, at least once. Can I have the scaling done also? Scaling done, it, it, yeah. Your teeth. Scaling can be done, but now the reason why he got tartar is because his roots are exposed already. Really. And uh, the the food he eats wet food right? No dry food. Get stuck inside. Yeah. Okay, thanks.